Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Abernathy, Southern lover of all things beautiful, and today I'm coming from my fall tablescape to show you guys a fall beauty haul that I did last week. Um, I went into the store and I needed a couple of things and then a few things just caught my eye. And then I've got one thing, it's a beauty tool, which I'm gonna save till the end. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that. But um, I like transitioning into the fall and changing up my makeup just a little bit. I jumped into Ulta. They already had some of their Christmas stuff out, which is just crazy to me. Um, and so I got one of those things, but I really just needed some things that were gonna liven up my face a little bit. So let's just jump in. Okay, so first things first is that Christmas product. And one of the items is missing. It's because I am currently using it. This is the Tarte. This is their little Christmas set that they do every year. It's got three mascaras in it, and I think it was it was $40. And each of these mascaras regularly are like $26, so it's a really good deal. I already know that I like Tarte's uh, Lights, Camera, Lashes, and Man Eater. The one I was really excited about is this new one. Let's see if I can see the name. It is the, I just found the name. Oh yeah, Tartlet Tubing Mascara. So I heard about this a month or so ago. I love a tubing mascara, so I wanted to try it. I do have it on my lashes today, if you can see. It was good. Um, I try not to judge mascaras the first two or three uses, which is what I'm on still, just because I like them to dry out a little bit. But for the first and second time, it was good. It's a little bit more of a wet formula than what I'm used to. It does have a rubber tipped wand. Um, normally, I like the Velour tubing mascara, but if y'all have seen any of my beauty videos, you know the last two, no, the last three I've gotten from them have been duds. They did not tube. So I was ready to try something different. So far, so good. And I know I like these other two. Next up, little explanation needed here. These are the Real Technique sponges. I like these. I'm not spending my money on a beauty blender because I replace it about every month, month and a half-ish. Um, I especially like it during the fall and winter it just adds a little bit of moisture so i wet this use it with my makeup it just adds a little bit more glow to the foundation i feel it infuses my my face with a little more water which it needs um all the time but especially in the winter so these are good the four packs a deal i think these were on additional sale which is why i got the four pack this is one of those things i just thought saw and got um this is the elf luminous putty blush in the color maui so i do have three, two or three of the uh, just regular putty blushes, and I love them. They're a great formula. They're matte without being drying, and I say matte. They're cre It's a cream blush. Let me go back. It's a cream blush, but it doesn't, it's not oily. It's not super oily. So, I saw this luminous putty, putty blush, and I thought it would be perfect. <sighs> the jury's going to be out for me on this one. It is glittery. I don't mind fine glitter and I am wearing it today and you can see it gives a nice shine. I don't have any type of highlighter or anything on. This is a little chunkier than what I would normally go for. Um, same formula, feels really nice. I'm just, I'm not exactly sure. It almost looks metallic when you first put it on. And when I first put it on and start before I started blending and I was like, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. Um, does blend out, but it's just, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet. The regular formula is fantastic. This is just kind of, I'm gonna have to see how I feel about it. Sorry if you can hear Molly walking around, but the other thing I'll say about this is I don't set my whole face with powder during the fall or winter. Um, I did put a little powder on my cheeks because I've got a, a pretty bad breakout break up here that I was trying to cover up. And it did layer really well over the powder products, which I feel like all these, the e.l.f. blushes in general do. So that was a win for it. An e.l.f. product that was absolutely a win, um, no questions asked. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in, ooh, can we focus there? In rose gold. Um, I picked this up. I had not seen this color before, or maybe I haven't, just didn't pick it up. Um, it's a really pretty rose gold shimmery color. One of my favorite colors, there is a mauve color in this formula. These are incredible. Um, again, I like these for the fall and winter. Even my eyelids, eyelids dry out during that time. So this just adds a little bit more moisture back into the eyelids. Does not slip or slide around. Really nice and long wearing, but just an easy throw and go kind of thing. So loved this color. I have it on today. I thought it was really beautiful. It is shimmery. Um, so if you don't like a shimmery sat shadow, you're not gonna like it, but it's not glittery. To me, this is more shimmery, pretty flattering than glittery. So really like this one. I think 
Jessica Braun on YouTube mentioned Dr. Paw Paw. I don't know if this is what she was talking about, but this is just a little lip balm that I picked up in like the little checkout area. I don't like this. Um, it says it's 99% natural ingredients, vegan friendly and cruelty free overnight lip mask. I was looking for a lip balm just to keep in my purse and it's just waxy feeling. You know, like when you put a lip balm on and it doesn't feel like it's actually moisturizing, it just feels waxy. That's what this feels like. Even So, I mean, it's it, it, it's got some okay ingredients in it, but I don't know. I just, this was a miss for me. So, don't love this, but it was only six bucks if you want to give it a try. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this, but I'm actually like a savage with opening products. So, I hope this doesn't fall out. This is the NYX. Epic Ink Liner in their brown shade. Um, normally, I use the Physicians Formula brown liner, but they did not have that. I guess, does Ulta not carry Physicians Formula? I don't know. The one I had did not have it. So, I picked this up. It is a, I guess you would call that a felt tip liner. Um, yeah, I like this. I really, I don't think the formula is as good as Physicians Formula, but I think this color is very unique. So the Physicians Formula is like a deep chocolatey brown. It's dark enough that it's almost black. This is, and you can kind of see here, this is more of like a caramelly brick red brown. And I think because I have green eyes, it is just beautiful, like it's perfect. I don't know how long this wears. Today's the first day of me wearing it. It went on easily. Um, but again, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not doing a wing. I'm just literally laying it sideways on my eyes and kind of wiggling it for some definition. And I use brown because it's less harsh than black. Black on the eyes. So this was part of a sale, and this is my favorite body wash of all time. This is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Molly. Ma'am, you cannot get that squirrel. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, Soap and Glory Smoothie. This smells like oatmeal cream, like the oatmeal cream little Debbie's. So good, so moisturizing. Um, if you watch Coffee Break with Danny here on YouTube, she's the one that recommended it. She went through all these body washes. Oh my gosh, it just smells fantastic. You can get them on sale at Ulta or Walgreens. So don't pay full price for these because they're they're drugstore, but they're a little bit pricey for the drugstore. So I just always wait till they go on sale. So I picked up two of those. Okay, we've got three things left. Um, this is just a restock. This is OPI Bubble Bath. And it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. I did not do a great job, but this specifically is their Infinite Shine 2 formula. So same color, just a little bit different formula. I like this. I think it holds up better on my nails. So I try to pick up this formula when I can. And here are my nails in case. They're short and stubby, but that's what I like. I mean, I just don't want anything too crazy. So it's a really pretty color and that one specifically lasts really well. Another restock is the Ordinary Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. So they've had the buffet around for forever and a day. The one with copper peptides, I did a little bit of reading up on it. I think it's supposed to help with wound healing, which is great because I do get acne still. I have hyperpigmentation. So this is a very hydrating serum. It's got a lot of peptides in it. It's got hyaluronic acid. Um, I think this is beautiful. It's affordable. Um, yeah, if, if you're looking for a hydrating no fuss serum, it's a little sticky and it smells terrible. Like. I, I feel bad saying this. It smells like blood. And I don't know if it's like that copper, like metallic-y smell, but like, have you ever gotten a nosebleed? I know that's nasty, but this is kind of what that smells like. Like when you put it on your face and you're kind of like, something smells funny, but it works. I wake up, my skin is plump, which is what I'm looking for. And I feel like it really helps um, with acne, all that kind of stuff. Even if you don't have acne, this is great for just healing spots. If I get eczema spots, I feel like this is great. It never irritates my skin. Okay, the final product is a uh, lip liner. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely, and Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. That's actually the name of it. But this is in the shade Alluring. Sorry it took me so long. I'm wearing it today with just a clear lip gloss. I think it's a really pretty pinky nude. It's more on the pinky side than nude. I love this formula. So anytime I try, I see a new one in store that I wanna try, I'll go ahead and get it. Nude Suede Shoes. I think it's in this formula, or there's another new one. It's the best one, but this one's really good too. A little bit more pinky, you know, it's my daring dark color for the year. So I really like this. And finally, this did not come from Ulta. This came from a website. <laughs> um, very specific there, Erin, but 
Tati Westbrook, if you have watched anything in the beauty community, you know who she is. Um, she is, she's been in the beauty world for forever. And I like her because, okay, I feel, I, I trust her. I feel like I've, you know, she, I feel like she just says it how it is. But she's also not 20, right? So sometimes when you see a product on someone who's 20, yeah, okay, yeah, it works, but your skin's flawless, right? Like, <laughs> you're, you're not seeing all that stuff. So, um, this is the MediCube. I can't even remotely remember which product it is, but it's unique and they only have a couple of them. So I had a new phase for forever and a day. It gave out on me. Um, and so I was in the market for rebuying. Pretty close to when I was doing that, Tati came out with a review of this product. Um, she's actually partnered with them since then and you can get some pretty good discounts. So make sure you're checking coupon codes and things like that. But this is a similar product but oh my gosh, y'all, this is more intense. I love my new face. I used it all the time. It helped with my jowls so much and I, I could tell such a difference when I stopped using it. So does a very similar thing, but y'all, this is like high powered, high powered, high powered. Um, I've been using it on level one and just so you're, you know, you know, I was using my new face on that last level and could barely feel anything anymore. So this is a really great product. I'm gonna continue to try it out. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated on it, but wanted to show you, even though it's not part of the Ulta haul, this has been my new little fun toy purchase. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you're interested in more Southern lifestyle videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're updated every Tuesday and Thursday when I post. Thanks for watching, y'all.